Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can use one of them for a while. I've been having a full-time feeder flinger. No, I've put mine into retirement. <laughs> <laughs> I've, put, I've put half enough into the museum for that old Trev Tomlin. <laughs> Pole cats and river, ki- river kings. <laughs> These are brand new out. These are the new matte ones. Um, we've got them both in stock now as well. They've... Uh, and the spare elastics and pouches and everything. So if you are after some new catapults, come and have a look at these or have a look at them in your local shop. Um, really nice and soft rubber on the handles when you grab hold of them, but and a bit longer as well than on some stems, so you can actually grab hold of it. But uh, the key feature with these catapults is the elastic. It goes all the way through the, the, the frame of the catapult instead of just instead of just being on the end like they normally are. What's the advantage to that then? Apparently, well, the main advantage of, I've watched a couple of the uh, map videos on the thing, and uh, the main advantage, with it being all the way through, every time you ping out, it doesn't wrap up. Ah, okay. So, something to do, sometimes it comes back and it goes lopsided like that but as soon as you pull it it goes back straight anyway so that doesn't make any difference but every time you ping it like that it doesn't it don't twirl up and get tangled so you spend more time actually feeding and fishing than you do untangling your catapults there's two sizes basically a small light one and a medium heavy one so obviously if you're going uh, bomb and pellet fishing or corn or bigger baits and your maggots to far bank at canal or whatever you'd use your big one and then obviously your little one for pinging your micros your four millers on your pole or for pinkies and squats but how much are they um 11.99 each they are both of them but if you are after a new catty these are a quite nice new niche little product you know i always ask all good questions yeah would you buy one of them over a or a Preston catapult? Or Drenham? Drenham make good catapults? Drenham make good catapults. Um, I would give them a go, because just for the simple fact that I've not tried them yet, so I can't. Yeah, of course. But I do like the idea of all the elastic being through and you're not having to un- untwist them. But um, as a, are they better than anybody else's catapult? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? But I do quite like them. They feel nice and comfy in your hand. Then, um, and that's one of the reasons I'd buy them. The, that rubber's nice and soft. So, yes, I would have a go with one. 